Sam is sitting in his ship with Hurik giving tips about travelling and Earth. So Sam pressed the button and his ship arrived in a street in Newcastle. Sam and Hurik walks out of the ship and Hurik wondered if people will be scared of him. Sam explains close to Halloween. While Sam and Hurik walks down the street there's something with red eyesight lurking around watching over the street and two people gets eaten by something. Sam looks on the news at his phone, wonders why there's disappearances of five people through the entire week. What could be causing it? He said. So Sam and Hurik has a look around in the street and he sees a 30 year old man putting up posters on the wall. And Sam said to him that he's sorry for his loss and wondered what's been going on. Why are five people disappeared in a week? 30 year old man introduces himself as Percy and said he has no idea but he suspects that it could be aliens or monsters due to incidents on earth in the past. While a mysterious monster flying around finding a prey Sam and Hurik was invited into Percy's house, so they sat down and having a cup of tea, with Percy giving the story what he knows. Meanwhile, something was flying towards Sam's ship. So after Sam, Hurik and Percy finished their drink, Sam wanted to check and advise Hurik to stay in the house with Percy, so Hurik agrees. Sam walks out, he looks around the street, and it was really quiet and feels uneasy as he felt that someone or something is watching him. The red eyes is looking at Sam walking down the pavement. The red eye thing came towards a student from Newcastle College and devoured. And the same thing happened to a homeless man. Meanwhile, Percy asks Hurik if Sam knows what he's doing and Hurik explains that Sam saved him in the Space Museum. Outside the warehouse, there are a young couple called Bethany and Derek, with a woman called Susan, Derek's mum, discussing the missing people, thinking that it could be aliens, as not a single body has been found, no DNA samples. While Red Eyesight is watching Sam, he notices the tree branches moving, sensing something's wrong, however, he's thinking it's just a wind blowing. As he walks to his ship and opens the door, there was nothing inside except a space. Inside it's like a doorway, just black with stars. Sam then locks the doors and ran off as he realises that everyone is in trouble. Hurek and Percy decided that they wanted to do something more investigating. So they walked out the house. Percy closes the door and locks it. Hurik texts Sam on the phone to let him know where they're going. Hurik and Percy stopped at the warehouse, seeing three people outside and freaked out by Hurik's appearance. But Percy calmed them down as he's friendly and he's investigating about the disappearances. Sam showed up as he was running. He shouts for Hurik and Percy as they're in grave danger. The red eye thing revealed to be battlings the same grey-scaled bats that were there during the Universe War on Trenzilor. There are four battlings flying down. One of them devoured Susan. While Bethany was screaming, Sam shouted, get inside the warehouse. So he, Hurek, Percy, Derek and Bethany ran inside the warehouse while the battlings are flying towards them. Sam managed to close the doors, chained it up, and barricade it with woods and items he could find inside the warehouse. While there are sound of clank and roaring outside, Sam suspects that everyone is safe inside. However, he shouts, Check the other doors! So everyone did, an old barricade. Hurek asked Sam what were they. So Sam explained that they're battlings from Trenzalore and their prison guards but when war happens, they somehow manage to escape and found Earth. Derek asked if someone called the police, and Sam explained that the police can't help, as it takes beyond Earth power to harm battlings, and they lost their prison to guard. 
so they don't know what's prison and what they should guard so they go around attacking people as they're mistaken as prisoners escaping work to be done and they won't stop unless you use some sort of training equipment from Trenzalore which they don't have on earth battlings fly around the warehouse like they're guarding a big prison cell Bethany thinks it could be the end of earth Sam has admit that there's nothing he can do no way out he also said Trenzalords would have stopped this from happening without a doubt but now they're gone and I'm going the same way however he felt something hot in his pocket so he reached his hand in his inside coat pocket and gasped as he dropped his ship key and it's still connected to his ship the interior may have disappeared but it still have a link so Sam takes out his sonic screwdriver to charge up the key and tells people that the inside of his ship has dematerialized but he can use the key to summon his anti-time device to destroy the battlings which will bring the interior back the key may need some time to charge so the hologram of Sam's ship appeared around the key and Sam said remarkable and tells everyone to don't touch the key otherwise it'll be gone forever just leave it be while armed police are shooting at battlings and bullets have no effect on them they get devoured the remain police at warehouse retreated so the anti-time device has materialized and people are questioning what kind of gun is it Sam said there's no time to explain we better get a shift on Sam, Herrick, Percy, Bethany and Derek marched out the warehouse as a battling's roaring flying towards the group Sam shoots red lasers from his anti-time device which killed all the battlings and fell onto the ground people gave the group a round of applause and Sam's ship is restored later on after Sam gave a statement to the police saying goodbye to Percy, Bethany and Derek Sam and Herrick walks towards Sam's ship 